Hello and what's up? RBY Pokemon Challenges fam, how you guys doing? This is a quick little test screen, but we're doing something very special here today. A normal dragon Dragonite. Now this has been a big request in the comments from a lot of people as I've started doing these type change runs. A lot of people were like, well, if you're gonna give the dragon type to all these other Pokemon, why not give the normal type to Dragonite? Now, at first this might be like, what? Why would you ever want to do that? There's actually a pretty good reason. We can start off by looking at our base stats where we've got the second rank in generation one with 500 total base stats with that massive 134 attack stat. Everything else is nothing to slouch at except for the fact that we have kind of low speed and we're in the slow level up group. But the real issue that Dragonite has in gen one is the fact that there are no damaging dragon moves other than Dragon Rage, which only does 40 fixed damage, and it's not even learned until level 45 by this Pokemon. Everything else that we learn via level up, if it does damage, is a normal type move. And when we look at the TM learn set, it's more of the same. All of the damage dealing moves that it learns that are physical are all normal type. <laughs> it doesn't get like earthquake, rock slide, anything. It's just a bunch of special moves and then normal moves. So it kind of makes sense that if we give this Pokemon access to a same type attack bonus in its normal moves, it should be a lot stronger. The question is, does that actually work out? And how much easier will this run be? Well, let's get into it and find out. So what's up guys, how are you guys doing? Like I said, this is a test stream. I have tried to stream with the new overlay and I've had some issues, the bit rate and whatnot, I have to get kind of dialed in. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that YouTube's gonna like yell at me periodically, you need a higher bit rate. Yeah, <laughs> the stream's current bit rate is lower than the recommended bit rate. I'm sorry, it's because my internet here in Japan sucks. <laughs> but if we can get something that is at least viewable, Without dropping a ton of frames, I'm basically fine with that. Like the last run I tried to do, it literally dropped 100% of the frames. And then the one that I had done before that dropped like 25% of the frames. So clearly not very good. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and see how this goes. If it's good, I'm gonna post it up for channel members. If it's bad, then, uh, you know, <laughs> it'll just disappear into the abyss. No more Dragonite, no more normal Dragonite. So uh, yeah, <laughs> anyway, let's get into this. I am recording at the same time, so I won't lose anything. If the stream just sucks, then I'll just post the video. You know, it, it all works out. <laughs> so here we go. It is time to try our normal Dragonite. Let's see, is my battery going out? I don't think it is, I hope not. Okay, but here we go. We can start the game. We've already got our name. We've got our Pokemon's name, Rival's name. They're all in here. And you guys gotta let me know. So I'm considering for the next one <laughs> that this one is Dranorm. <laughs> you know, he's a normal Dragonite, Dranorm. But then we're going to come back and we're going to do another run, possibly, with a dragon Venusaur. People have been requesting it. It's kind of a dinosaur. I guess it makes sense. Let's just get a grass dragon. I know they made like Exeggutor grass dragon later on, but come on, come on. Has nothing, nothing on this one. Dranorm, look at the legend. He comes in with starting stats. 25 HP, 18 attack, 15 defense, 13 speed, 15 special. We've got the starting moveset of Rap, Leer, Agility, and Thunder Wave. This is gonna be interesting, guys. Let me just make sure that the zero DVs are actually in. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. So we've got everything that we need. And now let's just try this. And I'm just gonna peek over periodically at the bit rate, frame rate, just make sure that everything looks good. Oh no. Yeah, we are out of battery on this uh, controller here. So there may be some glitches and whatnot due to the controller. Sorry, guys. I sh you deserved better than this. I should have charged this overnight, rip. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's get into the challenge proper where we're gonna fight rival number one. His name is of course rival one. <laughs> but here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna spam rap 
but wrap is now a same type attack move so it's gonna do a lot more damage so it just easily gets through there like think about gen 1 competitive dragonite where it basically spams agility and wrap right and if it had agility and wrap and stab hyper beam and just a coverage move like blizzard or thunderbolt imagine how op that would be in gen 1 competitive i mean it would have to be blizzard i think because really you'd be trying to wall it with the rocks so you'd be trying to wall it with uh say a ride on okay we just blizzard the ride on right and everything else it just sets up agility then goes for rap strats and then just finishes them off with the hyper beam ko with that massive 134 attack stat and given that it's dragon normal i mean you could use fighting moves against it you could use ice moves against it but if it outspeeds like what are you gonna do it would just be completely broken i think this is amazing somebody needs to make a competitive mod for these pokemon or we just need to do some sort of link battle or something or i have to figure out how to get pokemon stadium to allow me to change pokemon's typings I don't know. I'm, I'm going to play with that. That would be hilarious to do a Pokemon Stadium playthrough using only these type change Pokemon. That would be ridiculous. All right. So here we have made it to the bug catcher where we're just going to keep rapping. And oh, he's faster than me. Well, not anymore. <laughs> so now we can just spam rap. Yes, rap isn't perfectly accurate or anything, but we're going to win this one every single time. Get to level six right there. And let's just go straight on up to Brock. We're just going to try to beat him on minimum battles, especially because we should already outspeed. We can use some leers if we want to. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we've got stab. So it's probably going to do still like one damage, but let's find out. So here we go. Brocky boy attempt number one. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> We're going to wrap up his rocks. Wrap him up, buddy. <laughs> Oh, this is stupid. Okay, so here, attempt number one. I'm going to just go straight into the wrap here, and let's just see. We did one damage. So we need to deal 29 points of damage here. And we are under leveled, and he only uses tackle in Pokemon Yellow. So I think the best strategy is just to go for the wraps here and just hope to get the ranges that we need. You know, because if he can't move, we will eventually win. It's just a matter of landing enough wraps. There we go. So we get through the Geodude. We level up to level seven. I'm going to use agility right here so that we outspeed. And now we're going to wrap him. And we're just going to keep wrapping and just hope that we get enough damage. If he goes for bide at any point, like if we miss and he goes for bide, we could get through this. Oh, we've run out of PP. Okay. Okay. So let's try this again. So we might need to use some leers here. Let's see if leers actually help us do more damage. So I'm going to set up a leer first. And we are still doing one damage here. So just a single defense drop does not change the damage here. Let's try two leers. Still doing one damage per hit. Okay. Leer him a third time. Still one damage per hit. <laughs> Leer a fourth time. Still one damage per hit. So there's nothing that we can do to get more damage per hit with the wrap by using Leer really on this Geodude. Because if we go for more than that, we're just going to get wrecked anyway. So this is clearly a spot where we just need the wrap to hit more times. That's it. That's all we can really do. You know, like rap can hit between two and five times when it does hit. We can also get critical hits, though I'm not sure they do anything for us here. But you know, like we just need to have enough rap PP left when we get to the Onyx. Okay, so here against Onyx, I'm first going to use agility. He used bide. And now that lets us set up some free layers. But I'm going to go kind of hard on the Leer here. So two more Leers will get him to minus six. And at that point, that is the best that we can do. And we are doing two damage per hit now to the Onyx with our wrap. 
Not sure if we needed all six, but now it's just a matter of getting the ranges both between hits and getting it to hit enough times when it does hit. Let's see, we've got him all the way down to seven HP. Come on, yes, yes, there we go. So the second attempt we get through Brocky Boy, it was super tedious, but on minimum battles, we are still progressing with our Dragonite. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect, I say. <laughs> So now we're just gonna go heal up. You know, I'm the game counts an optional battle, sorry. The overlay counts an optional battle. I've mentioned this before. It has to do with when I reface the same trainer. So I'm just gonna take a reset there in order to get everything set right. So here, let's go ahead and fight this guy. We can now just come over here and start wrapping up some bug catchers where this should be very, very easy, I think. So we're just gonna kind of just keep rapping, rapping. We don't have any other damaging moves for quite a while, but we have to kind of keep rap on the move set. Like you might think that it's not really that great, but when I did the normal Dragonite run, I found that rap was important when we got to the late game. Like we actually needed rap in order to beat the game consistently at the end. And it all comes down to there are certain trainers where the best strategy without leveling up a bunch is to use the wrap to get them into a range and then just simply knock them out from there. So here, let's come fight this lassie lass. We still have plenty of wraps in the bag, so we should be fine. Nice, look at that. We're doing a lot of damage with wrap though. This is kind of impressive when you're landing just one wrap and you're still knocking out opponents. We're going to be safe, though, because the next opponent does have a Metapod. We don't necessarily want to have to waste all our PP and go into struggle. If he does get the, you know, defense buffs and we we don't get our, you know, set up all that stuff. So here, let's try this guy. And uh, nice. We're just going to wrap him down. Oh, yeah. Get wrapped, buddy. And here for your Metapod. Oh, look at this. We're destroying the Meta, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gen 1 meta destroyed. Yes. So here we go. We can now make our way into Mount Moon. And here's the thing. I'm going to be a little bit liberal about learning TMs here. Like, I know, I know. But this is a spot where just having one coverage move in order to take out the opponents that have, uh, you know, a Rock-type move or a Rock-type Pokemon rip is kind of useful, <laughs> basically. Just having a move like Water Gun, later on Bubble Beam, in order to just knock those ones out, will make this run quite a bit faster. Now, I don't remember if we'll even learn Mega Punch. Do we learn Mega Punch? No, we do not. Okay, rip. <laughs> Didn't need to go downstairs. But there we go. We have gotten through this section, and let's just move on. But yeah, I mean, that's basically the only weakness of this Pokemon at this point is just that it doesn't have any strong moves. It's just stuck using rap over and over again. But here, let's fight this super nerd. And we're just going to introduce him to the powers of our rap. But here, I'm actually going to go agility first because we get badge boosts in attack here. He disables agility. Good job, buddy. And now we can just start rapping in his Grimer. Very nice. And we're already sped up, so we can just wrap here on his Voltorb. Very nice. And coughing. Get wrapped, buddy. Now, if we get him to low health, we'll just hit him. Oh, yeah. So, wrap just did the job. But if we get something to low health, we can just go for the water gun, since we do have decent special as well. So, here it's time for Jesse and James, where I think the strategy is pretty simple. We're just going to wrap his... Wrap their records. Yes. So there we go. Meowth comes out. Oh, Meowth is faster. So this might be an agility spot. Oh, but we just knock it out. Very good. So here now we're just going to wrap on the coughing. If it gets to a low HP range, then we will just finish it off. But there we go. No problem. Jesse and James. Joke. So really, we've only had a reset on Brock, and that's it. Everything else, super, super easy up to this point because we're just rapping, guys. And in fact, we should be fine against Misty here 
because she's not going to want to use her water type moves against a Dragonite because Dragon resists water. So we should have an advantage here. Let's just see if we go into our gym. So I'm going to set up agility first. And now we're just going to start wrapping on the Golding. You know, what's Golding going to do? Just get wrapped. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. Oh, and we have access to the agility. Now you might be wondering, why did you forget Thunder Wave? Why did you keep Leer? I think Leer will be more useful than Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is a TM anyway. We could always just relearn it. But here, let's try Misty round one. Let's just see how she goes. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna just come in here and start rapping and Misty's just gonna be like, oh yeah, that's the best rapper I've ever seen. Let's find out if she actually likes rap or not. <laughs> here we go. So first things first, I'm going to set up agility right here a couple times. Let's just make sure that we outspeed. And then here we can go into the wraps. Yes, I know she used an X defend. I don't think it actually matters. Oh, there we go. So we level up to level 15 and we are faster than Starmie. She can X defend while she's being wrapped. Oh yeah, look at that. But outside of that we should have the advantage because she's only going to use tackle and harden against us because of the fact that we resist water so we are going to beat misty here on the first attempt super easily misty get wrecked <laughs> oh this is stupid so we are we are just rapping better than anyone has rapped before you know <laughs> we are we are the best rapper that ever was guys so here we go. Let's get into this fight now against Rival 2. Let's see how he goes. So first things first, he's got the Spiro. I'm going to Agility wants to outspeed it. And now we're just going to wrap it down. Look at the three hitter there. This is where the water gun comes in because wrap is very inaccurate. We didn't want that sand attack rip, but we do hit the wrap on the Rattata. So it goes down. Oh, and we're wrapping Eevee. Yes. Yes, you can't stop me from rapping, Rival 2. Oh, no. <laughs> and his name is Drafrog because people want the Venusaur dragon run. Let's see how that goes. But uh, will we have a Drafrog run? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's make our way up north where we can now just start beating up on all these trainers. And you might be saying, well, it's probably faster to just use Water Gun. And you would probably be right, but this is too much fun for me to just sit here and just spam rap and win everything is kind of hilarious. So yeah, let's just do this. People I know hate rap strats. I'm going to do a Mew that only knows rapping moves in order to beat the game. I have the plan, guys. We're going to have Fire Spin, Clamp, Bind, and Rap as the move set. And we're going to compare it to the Mew that only uses two turn moves. So that Mew is going to know like Skull Bash, Razor Wind. Uh, what else does it get? Uh, Solar Beam. There was one more move. What am I thinking of? What am I thinking of? What move? What other move did I have on there? Sky Attack. Sky Attack. That's right. I decided not to use it with Fly or Dig because those moves make you invulnerable for a turn. And that kind of defeats the point. We want to use the two turn moves that expose it to damage, which I think will be super interesting. But... I don't know. What do you think, guys? Would it be faster to beat the game with only wrapping moves or with two turn moves? Keeping in mind that the two turn moves expose you to damage when you use them. I personally think that it might be closer than people think. Like a lot of people think, oh, wrap strats, they're super slow. They are super slow. But when you have a situation where you have to get hit by your opponent turn one, and especially when you get later in the game where every opponent can hit you, and knock you out potentially oh it becomes terrible guys unless you're gonna massively over level in which case that takes more time so you know it's kind of you know one or the other i guess so here we're just going to wrap mr joy me <laughs> i still haven't fixed that oh god oh i need to look at that in the mapper Okay, but here we go. We have progressed. We're going to come fight this Onyx trainer and we're just going to make him super fast by just uh, water gunning him and just get, having him get wrecked. Look at that. So very nice. We have progressed. We're going to save the game. Now let's come fight Nidoran girl. We're just making smooth, smooth progress through this entire section. 
Oh, except we need to turn off set or turn on set battle mode. Oh, rip. Ripperino. The run is dead, guys. <laughs> the game asked us if we should send out Charmander. Come on. So here we go. We're going to just wrap this Rattata. Let's just keep wrapping on Ekans. Look at these like three hit KOs here with wrap. This is stupid. Like usually you got to keep in mind, it should take a lot more turns to knock these opponents out. They should have more opportunities to hit us. Nope, we're just like one wrap dead. Oh, oh no, Pidgey. Pidgey got the sand attack. We're gonna die now, maybe. <laughs> if Absorb did more than like one damage to us, we might die. Oh, look at the easy win. <laughs> we're just too OP. Clearly this is why they didn't give it the normal type. It would be way too strong. Are you kidding me? Oh man. So here we have made it to Billy Boy's house. We have saved him. He's for once questioning what the heck we're doing. Usually we're sitting here like, Billy, what have you been doing in mom's house? But not this time. He's like, dude, what the heck are you doing out there? Here we go. Let's go ahead and take on this drowsy. Oh, and we're gonna run out of rap PP. No, no, we can no longer rap. Oh man, G to the G guys. But he's just trying to pound us, and there we go. We water gun him down. We're gonna avoid learning Bubble Beam at this point, because I think the next move we actually want to learn is like Ice Beam. But I don't know, Bubble Beam could be the play, Surf could be the play, just because we really just want a coverage move for rock and ground types, basically. We just need one coverage move that will take those Pokemon out. And there aren't really that many of them in the late game, are there? I mean, Bruno, but I mean, Bruno's Bruno, so Ice Beam's probably fine. Ice Beam or Blizzard? Anyway, here we are against this Pidgey, where we're just going to uh, rap, and let's keep rapping. Yes, and keep rapping. She sand attacked us. It does not matter. We easily win. Let's come fight this guy, the guy next to Pidgey Girl now. That's his actual name in the overlay, guy next to Pidgey Girl. <laughs> He gets no respect whatsoever. Oh, because he just gets wrecked like that every single time. Pidgey Girl has actually defeated me a lot of times in solo challenges. I don't think that guy has ever done anything, basically. But here we go. We can get the max potion. We can get the ether. You should be yelling at me to get body slam. Well, I mean, we've gotten body slam in other runs, but I'm not going to get it here. I don't think we need it. We're going to get hyper beam later on via level up anyway or we can learn it via tm i think this is fine guys we're gonna skip the extra rare candy too we're gonna stay on minimum battles as long as we can in this one this is the first test i'll, I'll come back i'll optimize things i might come back and say you know what i really did need body slam body slam was the play maybe or i might just come back and say yeah it was useless so here we're gonna wrap this sand shrew and now we can finish it off with a water gun when it's on low health, just because that's a more accurate move. And now here for the Eevee, get wrecked. <laughs> oh, this is stupid. So we're going to come rub a old man's back and just be like, yes, 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 we know, we know. So we'll teach Dig to Charmander and let's go ahead and teach HM1 to Charmander. Yes. Yes, you want to learn this move. Perfect. So now he can cut and dig. He can do his job. The whole reason we got that Charmander from that neglectful, neglectful trainer. What kind of trainer just gives up their Charmander. Come on. So I'm going to be assessing like whether the video quality is at least good enough to use in videos going forward. I'm not sure if it will be or not, but you know, we'll, we'll just kind of look at everything because I'd love to do live streams. I really would, especially for channel members, just some special, you know, extra content live streams. I think it's a great way to go, but also mixing them in for the main channel here and there, I think is very useful. I also want to do some live streams over on GSC Pokemon challenges because there are some cases where it might be good to just, you know, for example, scouting out the next section or something like that, do it on a live stream, and then we can all talk together about how we're going to progress in the next section. I can get direct feedback and ideas. I think it's a good way to go. Anyway, 
We've made it to Lieutenant Surge. Let's just beat this guy. Oh, Lieutenant Surge, he thinks, oh, my Raichu will totally defeat you. Well, not if it gets wrapped. <laughs> oh, we're going to go for the agility. He's going to go X speed. We're going to go agility. Let's go. Oh, sorry. Controller came unplugged. There it is. So here we go. Agility turn one. And now let's start rapping. Yes. Oh, he's faster after the X speed. And we get wrecked by a critical hit. <laughs> okay, so we need two agilities here is the answer. We need two, two agilities, so we're guaranteed to outspeed no matter what. So he X speeds turn one. He thunderbolts. Good job. <laughs> and now we're going to start rapping. Yes, yes, you can do nothing now. Oh, get wrapped. <laughs> so there's what we learned. We learned we need two agilities against Lieutenant Surge just because he can X speed. But after that, it's a guaranteed victory. So uh, easy game. So let's just get the bike voucher. We're going to head back to Cerulean City. And OK, we've we've got like it shows an optional battle. Sorry, that's yet again because we just fought Lieutenant Surge twice. I still am working on the battles counter here. How to get it to work properly. Obviously, there's a logic error here. Oh, and I healed in there in Vermilion. Rip. This is fine. This is all fine. <laughs> Nobody cares. This isn't a true speed run. This is only a first attempt, guys. Come on. Come on. Nobody, nobody needs to get upset that we, we lost like literal seconds there. <laughs> Everybody's like, I'm never watching your channel again. Can't even route properly. I mean, it, it is a fair criticism. I basically can't route properly, but you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. So here, let's uh, go ahead and get. Wait a second. Did I get the bike voucher? Oh, rip. We got no bike voucher. Thought I had the bike voucher. See, see, speed run dead. Worst speed runner in history, clearly. So we're just going to run back down south. Let's get that bike voucher this time. I must have just pressed the wrong buttons when I was in there. I kind of autopilot this part. <laughs> like I don't really care that much. As a kid, I never used the bicycle. I only got the bicycle to use cycling road. Otherwise, I just never used the bicycle because I thought it was kind of worthless. You know, I mean, I can I can walk. Who needs a bike? Who needs a bike? Come on. <laughs> it's it's actually true of me in real life. Like I cycle to work, but I hate cycling so much. I would rather just walk. I would rather walk an hour to get to work than to cycle for 20 minutes to get to work. You know, I, I'm just saying that's that's me personally. You, you guys, you know can be like he hates bikes <laughs> anyway here we go it's time for the wrapping laughs let's go so here on the wrapping last we're going to out wrap the wrapping last that is the game plan look at that here as long as we don't get paralyzed i think we're just golden and look at these like three to four hit ko's here with wrap it's just way too strong guys oh look at that oh the wrapping last she'll never wrap again <laughs> Not after meeting this Dragonite. Now we can uh, just go wrap here on this Caterpie. And this is kind of stupid. Oh, this is just stupid, stupid. Oh, I'm having too much fun. This is the problem. Sometimes I'm just having too much fun. And uh, people will rightfully comment on the strategy. But you just have to back up sometimes and realize that something is so stupid that we just have to do it. Okay, we just have to do it. <laughs> Here we go. Let's fight against this trainer right here where I think Water Gun is the play on the Cubone. It's gonna be like a two hit KO here. We can be hit by ground type moves, but now for Slowpoke, I think we just start wrapping guys. Just start wrapping her up. Oh yeah. Wrapping him up? I, d I don't know. Still not sure on the gender of the Pokemaniacs. Don't really care, you know. Be who you wanna be guys. Be who you wanna be, you know. So here we can just heal up, let's save the game, and let's fight this next Pokemaniac, where we're just going to give it more of the wraps. This is just god tier wrapping right here. Very nice. Get to level 24. Let's save the game. Let's come into the Grass Last right here. 
and here we can just basically wrap wrap all day wrap all night you know this wrap is out of sight <laughs> oh no we're we're like missing there we go so we get the easy win i'm just gonna dig out one steal up and then we'll run in and we'll fight against that rock tunnel hiker this guy now he's basically just going to be a, a matter of okay how do how do we do with the uh, water gun because <laughs> i don't think we need to rap on him he's he's the only guy who can stop us from rapping he's just so hard guys he's just so hard he stops us from rapping there we go so we've made it to the legend himself self-destructy boy but guess what i know the water gun <laughs> <laughs> oh he's getting wrecked oh no we're dropping frames no try this again so sorry stream died apparently we're gonna try this again we're gonna see if we can get anything to actually work here i have two theories i have one theory that my internet throttles so like as i'm streaming just suddenly the internet throttles down and then I can't get the frame rate that I need in order to stream. That's one. The other theory is that there's an issue with my overlay that's messing things up. So I just want to double check how far I was actually able to record previously. So here we're going to actually pause the timer here. 29.53, we've clearly lost a couple minutes there, but let's just check on the state of things. As I said, I am recording, so everything that I've done should also be recorded on my local machine, so I can put this all together after the fact and post it up for the channel members. But we just have to figure out, you know, if it's actually necessary to do so. Sorry, I have to watch a commercial to watch my own video. Rip. Okay, so it died back around when I was talking about the bicycle. <laughs> oh no, you guys are gonna miss my my wonderful commentary about bicycles. And uh, so we didn't get the start of this section in the stream. Granted, let me just double check that it was in fact recorded on my local machine. Yeah, so everything up to this point was recorded on my local machine. So. I should just be able to throw this together and throw it up on the channel, but I'm going to have to mess a little bit more with my settings to see if I can get this to work as a live stream without just dropping out. I'm basically 50-50 between it's something with my setup and something with my internet. We're just going to have to figure out which it actually is. Okay, but there we go. We have successfully completed the Rock Tunnel Hiker. And we can make our way through this section. Let me just uh, restart the timer here on this. There we go. So yeah, lost a couple minutes to uh, kind of messing around there and the stream just dying. <laughs> I need to get better internet. That is the problem. And I live in a super old apartment here in Japan. So it's not like they have great internet set up here. Like this is a 30 something year old apartment. So you kind of get the internet that you get, especially out here in the Japanese countryside. It's one of the reasons I haven't done as many live streams as I really wanted to. Like I wanted to get to the habit of like a live stream per week plus a video per week, but I just haven't been able to do it because the internet is too unreliable. It's kind of sad, kind of sad, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> but here we go, let's just progress in this run. I'm just gonna keep an eye on the stream health, see how it goes. Maybe now we just get all the way to the end. Maybe the internet just cut out one time and now it's just good to go. I am now on a actual, you know, LAN cable connection to the wall, you know, or to the router rather, but it still just seems to be kind of spotty. I have times where the internet, internet just completely seems not to work. Oh, and I'm not riding a bicycle. What is this nonsense? No. So here we'll just grab that elixir. We're gonna pop up here. We're going to cycle right on over and let's get access to Ice Beam, just because we can. Just because we can. 
So we'll grab two fresh waters right there. And let's get that ice beam, very good. So with that being done, we can also run downstairs. This is the only part where I turn on wild Pokemon so that I can catch a wild flying Pokemon. Every other HM user you can simply get just by, you know, catching or just by getting gift Pokemon rather. It's only the flying one that you have to catch. So, overworld, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Encounter rates. Okay, let's unlock those encounter rates very quickly. And now we should be able to run right up here. Oh, and look at the Doduo, yes. You want to join the team, I know you do. Great ball. Oh, come on. Oh, what is this nonsense? The Doduo, he's not cooperating. We're gonna go buy more great balls. We're gonna have the greatest of balls for this guy. Oh, it's this guy. Yes, this guy, he says, take my great balls. We're gonna say, all right, here's money for your great balls, buddy. Oh man, oh, sorry. It's it's a sad day when you when you use two two great balls and you still can't get the action from a Doduo. So here we go, we've got a Spiro instead. Let's chuck some great balls at this one. He's trying to mirror move. He's trying to throw the great ball back at us. <laughs> and I never understood Pokeballs being like a one use item. Like, wouldn't you throw the Pokeball and fail and then just go pick it up? <laughs> like, I don't know. It just self-destructs the second that it doesn't catch the Pokemon. Somebody, somebody enlighten me. What's the lore? <laughs> so here we're going to teach Fly to our Spearow. Let's go ahead and fly back to good old Celadon City. And here we can put some items in the PC real quick. We don't want to get a bunch of messages about not being able to pick up items, things like that. Lord Dome, sorry. Not necessary. SS Ticket, not necessary. We've already taught cut. Oh, I put the bike in the PC again. No. GG rip. End of, end of run. Oh, and I took out the dome fossil? Wait. Wait, did we take out Lord Dome? Yes, we did. <laughs> Put the dome fossil in the PC. Immediately take it out. RBY Pokemon Challenges. Greatest solo challenge runner in history. Clearly. Clearly. Obviously. I know what I am. If you know, you know, come on. <laughs> so here I am going to get the coin case here because there is a chance that we'll want to buy the Hyper Beam TM. But here we're just going to uh, run on over to Erica's gym. I wanna just try this one time. I think what we do is we learn Ice Beam over, bubble, over, over Water Gun. In the late game, I think Ice Beam is gonna be super useful. So I'm just gonna learn it right here. That will be our second TM, but then we just simply wrap these Pokemon into a range and then we just destroy them with the ice beams. Let's go. Oh yeah, and it's back to just dropping frames. Okay. So stream died yet again. So here I'm just going to start recording again and I'm just going to record the rest of this. I'll do a separate test stream again after messing with some settings. Let's see if we can get something to work here. So here we're just going to wrap on this execute. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> like we barely even needed the ice beam at the end. But here we go. We've made it in front of Erica. Let's see if we can just beat her right away. Oops. Erica's freaking out. There we go. I have a, a way to make Erica not freak out, but you know. There is some some nonsense here, even with the overlay. So yeah. Anyway, here we go. We have made it to Erica. I'm going to wrap her spaghetti noodles. And we're just gonna get it down in a range where I think that Ice Beam can one-shot it from there. And Ice Beam. Nice. Now, Weepin' Bell, get wrapped. Oh, and look, it has so much less defense than the Tangela. So now we can wrap on the Gloom. Oh, your Gloomy Flower just getting wrapped. And maybe Ice Beam here? Oh, easy win, yes. Oh, we've just destroyed Erica. 
she had no shot guys no shot whatsoever so here i'm just gonna save the game one time let's go ahead and fly back here actually just so that we can heal really quickly and then we'll go take on the rocket hideout so here we are we have made it to team rockets hideout we'll grab 100 coins right there we'll just grab random coins behind people because that's clearly how this all works you know if you want coins just stand behind a guy and just hold down hold down the a button you'll eventually get all their coins because uh you know when people drop coins on the floor you're not supposed to give them back to them what what kind of person gives back coins that they found on the floor come on you take those coins clearly this is this is how it's meant to be and uh i guess we start just trying to get money for hyperbeam because we can you know like it's gonna take forever but if we get hyperbeam in the late game that's pretty much gonna be our strategy is gonna be just wrap things and hyperbeam them wrap things hyperbeam the only place we can't do that is against agatha of course that's where we're still gonna need our special moves but outside of that, wrap, hyperbeam, wrap, hyperbeam. I would take hyperbeam over Lyra at this point. Just saying. Okay, so there we go. We can come fight this guy by the poster. And I'm just going to keep wrapping. Oh, you can quick attack. That's fine. You get wrapped. And here is Zubat. But yes, I know that we should ice beam it. But wrap does the job perfectly fine. So here we go. We can go downstairs. And we're just going to grab this guy right here. And then let's pop up here. Yes. Oh, and I've got the mouse pointer on rip. No. Everybody unsubscribe. This guy's got a mouse pointer on top of his stuff. Oh, no. That is not what I wanted to do. Yeah. Oh, rip. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, slight backtrack, guys. I accidentally ran into a trainer. Had to uh, reset. Because we want to stay on minimal battles. Come on. That's what this is all about. So uh, we're gonna have to refight some guys. We're gonna have to re-pick up all our coins. So here, let's get some free coins from these guys. Yes. And here we can just uh, keep picking up rando coins. Just be like, yes, all the coins, please. All the coins, please. Okay. So I think we go downstairs and I think we just pick up like all the items so that we can get more coins so that we can get closer to getting the hyper beam. It's basically my strategy, basically my game plan. Let's see if it works. So we're just going to sit here and hold auto A. We're going to have to take a couple more resets because it's going to count optional battles. So I'm just going to offset them with resets here. And obviously the time is a little messed up because I keep looking over to try to see if everything's streaming okay, if everything's recording okay. Just not sure what the exact cause of the stream problems is. But here we go. Let's just wrap again on this guy. And he goes hyper fang and quick attack. Good job. Good job, buddy. But now we just destroy Zubat. We get revenge. Yes. So here we can push that button there we can come right here and grab the hp up and now let's make our way down downstairs now we could fight the machop guy and get another rare or another nugget plus get access to the double edge tm but we're like i said trying to stay on minimum battles i really want to know how far we go on minimum battles with this setup just because it's kind of ridiculous if we don't have to take any optional battles to beat the game, that would be stupid, and I would love it. Just saying right now, stupid, and I would love it. So there we can get the lift key. We're going to come here, we're going to get the rare candy. And now we're just going to zip kind of over here, where now we can just progress. Progress in the game. So here we can grab that nugget. Nice. 
we don't need the moonstone but we will get the tm for horn drill but we've run out of space in our bag so let's come over here and sell these items that we do not need so i'm going to sell first off these potion full restore max potion they just give decent money then we can sell the great balls now because we already have a Pokemon to do that. We've got the nugget to sell. We've got TM2 to sell. We've got an HP up to sell. I think this is all fine after that. Okay. So let's cycle back over here to the Rocket Game Corner where we can get the horn. Yeah, we can get Horn Drill. Horn Drill could always be a strat with this Pokemon, keep in mind, because one hit KO move and with agility, we can guarantee that we outspeed things. So I'll actually keep Horn Drill in the bag just as a possibility. That could be another way to potentially get through a tough opponent that is otherwise completely destroying us is just Horn Drill them. You know, <laughs> like agility plus Horn Drill kind of broken, guys. Just saying. So here we can make our way over here. Like, let's go down here. Let's get a hyper potion while we're at it, just because we can. And it's time for Jesse and James. Let's see how these two go. And I should just reset right here to get rid of these, what is calling optional battles, even though they're not actually optional battles. Yes. So here, let's uh, just reset one time just to get that optional battle off. There we go. And now downstairs, time for Jesse and James. Let's go. So Jesse and James round one here. I'm just gonna wrap. I'm just gonna wrap, wrap them. Oh, look, damage, yes. And here Meowth, oh, Meowth is still faster, but it doesn't have the defense, so it just gets wrecked. And we can wrap on Ekans. Oh, look at that easy win. So we've completely destroyed that section. We can grab an iron right there, which also will give us good money. I'm just gonna drop a super potion here. Don't even think we need to drop the hyper potion. Let's save the game. Let's fight Giovanni. So here, Giovanni round one, I'm going to set up agility first, just cause I wanna make sure that I outspeed when we get to the Persian. Oh, I didn't need to wrap this one, I don't think. Ice beam, easy win. Here we'll ice beam. Easy win, and now Persian, get wrapped. Yes, oh yes, get wrapped. Oh, easy victory against Giovanni there. And we can go ahead and pick up the Sylph Scope and dig right on out of here. So now I'm going to open up Saffron very quickly, and then we'll make our way over to deal with the situation in Lavender. But let's just get the Psychic TM too, because we can sell it for more money. And we just want to get money so that we can get Hyper Beam. That is the entire game plan. Because I'm just going to be interested to see how strong our Hyper Beam is at this point. And I mean, we haven't really had any tough spots. Like we've had a couple where, sure, like maybe it's a little questionable, but nothing hard, hard. So we should just be able to keep progressing and keep destroying and keep enjoying <laughs> this stupid run. So here we go. Swift, yes. Give me the Swift TM. And here we're just going to cycle up north. And okay. We're here for rival number two. Let's go. Or rival four. What am I talking about rival two? We're here for rival four. Let's go. So here I'm going to set up agility first because we can get some badge boosts and we can just ice beam there. But he did growl at me, which was kind of bad. Oh, and I'm out of PP. No, rip. We have to Ice Beam on Shelter. <laughs> oh, look at it get two hit though. And there, Ice Beam. And I guess we're just gonna keep spamming the Ice Beams because we've wrapped way too much, guys. Just too much wrapping. You know, even our Dragonite, he just can't wrap that hard, guys. He just can't keep wrapping so much. So here we go. Let's uh, cycle right on over here. Let's go upstairs to deal with these channelers where fortunately we have Ice Beam. You would always need to learn a TM with this Pokemon just to take on these channelers, if nothing else. So here, Ice Beam, Unite Shades, Ice Beam, easy win. 
Ice Beam, another Nightshade, but the Ice Beam will finish it off. Easy, easy victory. So here we will pick up the HP up so that we can sell that for money. We'll get another Elixir. We're gonna get the Nugget that's on this floor. And then we should just be getting at least closer to the amount of money that we need for Hyper Beam. So here we go, let's fight this channeler now. And here we'll Ice Beam it and Ice Beam it. Nice, easy win. Here, let's take on this one. More Ice Beam action. This is the only spot where we really just can't rap, guys. Ghosts, they, they just have no respect for rap game. <laughs> okay, so here we've made it to Ghosty Mama, where I'm gonna rap her. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show her my rapping abilities. She's gonna be like, I'm gonna tail whip at ya. But there we go. You know, she's shaking her tail feather right there. Now we've made it up to Jesse and James at the top of the tower. Let's just see how they go. I'm gonna go agility first. Let's set up all three agilities. Oh, and we get growled at rip. I knew it was a bad idea to go for the agilities, but we still knock out Meowth. Nice. Ekans, get wrapped, buddy. Just a couple wraps. Does the job there. And onto the wheezing, bulky as it is, we're rapping, and we're just too good at rapping, guys. This wheezing never stood a chance. <laughs> oh, that's stupid, stupid, stupid. But there we go. We've made it through. A rapper. He's just too strong, guys. So here, I think we should go to Silfgo. Let's just go try to fight our rival because I think this is kind of hilarious and we might just be able to beat him with agility and rap strats. That would be stupid, but that would be hilarious to me at least. I know everybody else is like, dude, this is already the stupidest run ever. But you know, we're gonna keep rapping until we can't rap no more. Oh no, we get paralyzed. No, it's okay. Easy win. So now let's go ahead and dig out of here. Let's heal up. And what we want to do is just go back over there. We're not going to gain any levels. We're not going to use any rare candies at this point. We're purely going for the wrap strats. So here we'll just uh, set that one up. Protein right there. Normally we would want to slam the protein, of course. But here, let's just make it to this floor. Very nice. Save the game. And we're gonna try to wrap, guys. Yes. Let's out wrap the rival. So here, I'm going to set up agility first. Oh, the slash did so much damage. But there we get the freeze. <laughs> ah. Oh yes, we have all the agilities now. And now we're just gonna wrap him down. We're gonna take revenge for him using that slash on us. Now we miss and Aurora Beam destroys us. So we need really good accuracy on the Cloister clearly if we're not gonna change our moveset. So here I'm going to Ice Beam again and just one agility is probably enough and then let's just Ice Beam and win. Now wrap. The issue is that Cloister has really good defense so we're not doing that much like six damage per hit, basically. So we kind of need to not miss a single wrap there. <laughs> so this is like the first actually hard battle of the entire run. Okay, he poisons things, he poisons things, he slashes. But now we've got all the agility set up, so we've got better ranges. And here we can just Ice Beam this one down, cool. Here we'll wrap. So the only advantage there is that by setting up the agilities, we have a higher attack stat because we have a badge boost. But we're clearly not doing enough. So I'm going to go instead and try to take on Koga. The advantage we have against Koga is with agility, we can outspeed against his Venomoth. And then we should be able to just get the wrap strats to work. I'm sure of it. I'm confident. I believe. I have the belief, guys, the faith that we're going to get this done. So, of course, Snorlax, we don't even need to mess with that guy. You know, he's nothing. Nothing, I say. 
So there we can grab another rare candy. Let's just run south. And I don't know. Like we're finally reaching the point where it's like most players would give up on rap here. They would just be like, okay, we're done rapping because we're clearly just not doing enough damage. And that's fine. But what I found in the last run when I was doing this was that the best strategy against Giovanni was actually to wrap his Pokemon into ranges and then knock them out just because they do too much damage. And even here, we have to keep in mind that we're going to be dealing with some things that do a lot of damage. Particularly, we're going to be dealing with uh, the fact that we're weak to fighting, so he's going to be using things like Double Kick against us in that fight. So here, let's backtrack a little bit because we need to get some items as well and see if we can just get enough money to get the Hyper Beam TM at this point. Oh, rip. No, I went the wrong way. Where did I save, though? Okay, I saved at Rival 5. So we'll just dig out of here again. Let's just redo this section. See? Guys, not a speedrunner. <laughs> Do I have to say it again? I'm not a speedrunner. But here, we'll sell a bunch of items. Let's just get rid of stuff that we don't need. Okay, protein... We don't need, I don't believe we learned Swift, so we'll just get rid of that. Um, Nuggets, HP up. Here, I don't even need the antidote in the bag, I don't think. So here, let's just go out. Let's see how we're doing as far as casino coins. So let's just talk to this guy. Let's just spam some casino coins. We're not quite there. We're not going to get to 5,500 just yet. So we're going to just have to grind at this for a minute. There we go. So this is just like the most tedious part of this whole thing. Obviously, I just have an auto A on my controller in order to get through this. But, you know, I mean, you can do however you guys want. This is just how I roll. Out of way. Out of way, out of way, out of way. But yeah, we're going to get to about 4,000 some here. We still need a bit more money to get to 5,500, which is what we need for Hyper Beam. I just think that Hyper Beam will help a lot in this run. So that's why we're going to kind of just go for it as soon as we can. In fact, I know where there's another nugget here in the underground. So we just need to dip back over here. Nice. There's the nugget. And now let's cycle down once again to Koga's gym. Let's go. Like if I take a different route than I usually take, this is when I tend to accidentally run into trainers because I'm so used to taking the same route to go down south, you know, and to pick up the items and whatnot. So sometimes when I don't do that same route i i mess up rip this is why you just kind of memorize certain routes as you do a lot of these solo runs so there we can get that and here let's just keep going up so we get the pp up come on come on where's the pp up there it is yes we got the pp up guys so now we can run south. Let's jump back on our bicycle. Again, we're trying to stay on minimum battles here as much as we possibly can. I am going to put items in the PC again that we don't need. So card, ooh, we still need the card key rip. But Poke Flute, no longer necessary. Silph Scope, no longer necessary. The Lift Key is no longer necessary. Yeah. So here, let's just withdraw the part card key here. Okay, now I'm actually going to make my way to the Safari Zone because we should be able to get enough money at this point to get to Hyper Beam just by going through the Safari Zone. So here, we'll talk to this guy, we'll pay some money, and let's just start grabbing items left and right. There's Carbos. Those are like 4,800 when we sell them. There's a max potion. There's TM37. 
like there's just so many tms and items full restore right there that can be sold for decent amounts of money we'll need full restores in the late game but at this point they're not actually necessary uh what's this skull bash right protein there are gold piece no more room for items rip so we're actually going to dig out one time and we're going to go sell these items okay here we go here we go yes give me all the money yes tm40 garbage carbos garbage full restore who needs it oh egg bomb max potion we also have a nugget yes give me all the money yes so now let's fly back to celadon let's just see i don't know we might have enough money right here it depends on exactly how many coins we had okay not quite enough not quite enough because we would have needed 20k would have been enough to get us there if we had 4500 coins it's not going to be enough from here we're over 5,000 though. We're over 5,000. Yes. So we just need a little bit more. A little bit more. Ever so slightly more. So here, let's come over here and give the warden his teeth. And we can go ahead and teach HM4 to Squirtle. He can do a job. Nice. Push that boulder. There we go. Rare candy. And now let's just cycle over here. And this is Pokemon Yellow. We don't technically need enough money to even go into the Safari Zone. We can just keep trying to go in. They'll eventually let us in. Oh, we had enough money. Rip. <laughs> I didn't want to have enough money. I wanted to just spam my way in. They're like, oh, yeah, you can't progress in the game if you have no money. Rip. Rip. <laughs> The, the problem with putting necessary items behind a paywall. <laughs> you know, loot box, guys. Basically. So here we go. We can get the double team TM. We can come over here and talk to this guy. Get HM3. Let's now dig on out of here. And let's fly back to Fuchsia. Save the game. Let's go fight these traitors in Koga's gym. All right, so here we go. We've got two required jugglers in here. We're going to make quick work of them with wrap strats. So I'm going to agility once, agility twice. Well, I mean, if he's going to keep swapping. Oh, no, he disabled wrap. No, I'm going to ice beam you out of spite for disabling my wrap. I wanted to rap, guys. I wanted to rap. And we're just staying disabled forever. Okay, we're finally not disabled. Rap. Yes. Rap him. Oh, look at the cadaver go down. Oh, look at the drowsy go down. Oh, we missed the rap. He disables Ice Beam. Perfectly fine. Easy victory. No problems whatsoever. We're about to level up right here, too. This is perfect. Perfect, I say. Let's come fight this guy against whom we can, I think, just start rapping. I don't even think we need the agilities here. I think we're faster already than Hypno. We are. So he swaps back to his Drowsy and gets knocked out. And now the Hypno can just come out and get wrapped. Oh, he goes Confusion. No, he disabled agility. Even worse. But there we go. Easy win. <laughs> oh, this this whole section is just just stupidly easy against those trainers, at least. So here we go. Now let's just see if we're getting close enough that we might be able to sell items and get to the point of buying our hyper beam. Because I'd like the hyper beam here. I think it's the way to go. Okay, we get rid of that. While we're at it, we don't really need that TM. We can always get it again. So cool. We'll keep our other TMs, Bubble Beam and uh, Thunderbolt, but we'll get rid of Horn Drill. We won't go Horn Drill strats in this one, I guess. Even though it might be the best strat. Who knows? 
So here, oh yes, look at that, 5,500 coins. So we can pop right over here. We're gonna go all the way to this window. TM15 Hyper Beam. We're going to learn that over Leer is the strategy. So now the strategy on a lot of these fights is wrap them into the range and then Hyper Beam them down. So I wanna see how strong Hyper Beam is. So I'm gonna test it out right here in this fight as we go up against Koga. I just want to see if we can one shot a Vin and that or something. Let's go. <laughs> so Koga round one, he's going to come in. He's going to be all ninja like, you know, he's like, I am the ninja. I know. I know what I'm doing. Don't question me. I killed Ashes Pidgeotto. Nice. So here we go. Let's just hyper beam. Oh, we missed. So that is a one hit KO hyper beam. Not quite a one hitter right there. We do need an agility no matter what, because we're going to need to outspeed at the end. So we're going to lose this first one. Oh, he X attacks. Never mind. So there we can do that. Now we can wrap on this one. We're just trying to get his health down a little bit so that hopefully the hyper beam can just wreck from there. Hyper beam. Yes. OK, now we were outsped by or we outsped, but we missed against the Venomoth. OK. So here we've learned some stuff. We've learned some useful stuff. We're gonna agility right here. We're gonna just set up all the agilities, get a special drop, which isn't great. But now we should just be able to hyper beam there. And with the badge boost, I think we just hyper beam against these Venonats. Yes. So now we level up to level 33, but I'm just interested to see he, Oh, he goes for the leech life and we just knock him out the next turn with hyper beam. <laughs> oh, Koga, you never had a chance. So I'm going to reset to get that optional battle off the overlay. It's just, you know, just a thing with when I've already fought a trainer once, it puts them in a finished column. And then if they're already finished, then it wants to say like, oh, if you fight them again, that's an optional battle. I have to figure out how to how to fix that. So that it works the way I want it to. Sorry, that was the chair, not me. <laughs> anyway, I think we go back. I think we fight our arrival again. I'm ready for revenge now that we've got the hyper beam. But I don't know. Maybe it's better to go fight against uh, Blaine. I don't know. I have no no answers. Only only ideas, but no answers. Anyway. We have made it this far on minimum battles, which is kind of hilarious. You know, like, I think Charizard can beat the game on minimum battles. The Dragon Charizard, right? Maybe Dragon Seedra could get really lucky and get there. But yeah, this might be the second one that legit does minimum battles. So here we go. Rival number two. Let's just Ice Beam him. Oh, he Sand Attacks. That is not what we wanted to see. Okay, but we do wrap here. We're hitting wraps. And then we just have to remember that Hyper Beam is like quite a bit stronger than wrap, but the accuracy drops were the problem. But Hyper Beam is effectively 10 wraps. So if you have a situation where it would take fewer than 10 wraps to get through an opponent, then you simply go for the Hyper Beam. So, right. We can see right there, we did six damage. So if we get this below 60 HP, then we should simply hyper beam at that point to knock it out. There we go. Now the Magnemite or Magneton comes out. We're just gonna hyper beam here. Nice. Kadabra disables wrap, but we hyper beam it. Yes, hyper beam on the Flareon. Oh, look at the damage. Oh, the rival, he just got wrecked. Oh, the hyper beam is too strong here on minimum battles. Even, you know, he can disable rap. We don't care. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So here we're just rapping. We're just rapping because we can ice beam right there. We can learn slam, guys. <laughs> we're not going to learn slam. Who learns slam when you got a hyper beam? Come on. So there we go. Easy win right there. And we're going to just wrap this Meowth to death. Very good. So here we need to get more PP in Hyper Beam. 
And in fact, we should PP up Hyper Beam because we know this is going to be the move going forward for most of the run. There we go. So now we can save the game. Let's go ahead and open this door. It's time to fight Giovanni. So here he's going to want to like double kick on us. So I think we just Hyper Beam one shot. Hyper Beam one shot. Here is where I'm finally going to agility up just so that we have a little bit more power when we get to Needle Queen. Let's Ice Beam right there. We Oh, we leveled up anyway. Rip. But here, let's just uh, drop some wraps on her. Okay. Now I think Hyper Beam just cleans up. Yes. Oh, look at how easy that was. The Hyper Beam strat is too strong. Too strong stab Hyper Beam on a Dragonite. Oh, this would just have broken the entire game. <laughs> just imagine them trying to balance the game with an agility wrap hyper beam, ice beam or blizzard dragonite. Like this Pokemon would just be truly God tier. Like it would be Ubers for sure. It would be right up there with the Mewtwo and whatnot. Cause it's only, it doesn't have a four times weakness anymore. Keep that in mind. So it's not like, you know, everything would be one shotting it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and try Waifu Sabrina. So here I think we're just going to spam some Hyper Beams. Like we might need to use an agility after the Abra, but we just want to knock the Abra out as quick as possible. Maybe we get a flash miss. Maybe she just misses the flash and that's the way to go. There she missed flash. Now Hyper Beam. Nice. Yes. Hyper Beam. Yes. Oh, come on. Oh, we missed the first Hyper Beam. Now I'm now I'm going to wrap this Alakazam here. She even X defended the Alakazam. The Reflect. I think no Reflect just means that we auto win. Here, we're just going to wrap it into a nice little range and Hyper Beam. Oh, Waifu. Never had a chance. No damage. For Norm. <laughs> you know, oh, the normal dragon. Like, he, he looks like his name could be Norm. <laughs> but we've just completely destroyed yet another gym. We're going to come say hi, hi to Mom. We're just going to say we've got the most powerful Pokemon in history, Mom. We never need to come home again. We're, we're clearly better than everyone. <laughs> oh, man. This is stupid, stupid. Minimum battles up to this point has just been ridiculous. So I don't know. We might want to learn Surf instead of Ice Beam. Like you might be thinking about like Lance in advance and whatnot, but really we just want a coverage move that will knock out rocks. So the ride on just getting wrecked by Surf might be better, but I don't know, Blizzard, we've got Blizzard here. So we could learn that TM as well if it helps us. We just have to kind of keep up with this same strategy though. Really, we'd rather have Thunderbolt in order to take out things like Cloyster, take out things like uh, Lapras, etc. That's why when I did the Dragon Mew, I gave it the Thunderbolt because I thought it was more important to have coverage against the Pokemon that could actually KO us. But uh, yeah, <laughs> still makes the fight against uh, Giovanni fairly tough. So here, let's just get to Blaney Boy. And we can easily get through there, easily get through there, easily get through there. We're just going to answer that. Here we go, Tombstoner. And we've made it to Blaine. Yes. Oh, look at this. So Blaine, of course, he's going to come out. He's going to be all like, you can't resist my fire type Pokemon. We're going to say, actually, we do resist your fire type Pokemon. Agility, Wrap, Hyper Beam. I think that's the strat. Let's go. Hopefully we don't get confused. So here he flames ours and gets a critical hit turn one. And then he goes for quick attack twice and gets a crit and knocks us out. Are you kidding me? Come on. He just like crit everything there. So let's try round two. So flamethrower, that's a normal flamethrower. Now he goes confuse ray, which kind of sucks, but now we can hopefully start rapping. Yes. Let me wrap you. And I think this is a range where we can just Hyper Beam. Nice. See if we can just Hyper Beam here. Oh yes, we get the one shot. Now we've leveled up and we don't have badge boost. So 
This is where we're going to go back into the wrap strats for a minute. Think we've got him in a range. Oh yes, Blaine. When we don't get just like stupid critical hits, we take out Blaine easily on the second attempt. So one reset there, really not too bad. Like it shows 16 resets, but keep in mind some of those were just because of the overlay showing more optional battles than there actually were. We're golden. <laughs> we're golden here. This is too easy. Too, too easy. So here, let's just make our way up into Giovanni's gym, where against this Rhyhorn, we're just going to Ice Beam it, of course. We can't really wrap there. Here, let's save the game. Let's come and fight. Oh, and we have to take one reset again, just to offset the random optional battle that accounted on Blaine. But here we go. Let us wrap you. We will, we will wrap you. Yes. So here, let's just do that. Here, we're just gonna keep wrapping on this Machop or Machop here. I guess Hyper Beam it. How much damage does Hyper Beam do against this Machoke? Oh yeah, it's just a one hitter. I should just be Hyper Beaming things at this point. I, I keep wanting to use Wrap <laughs> just because I'm enjoying wrapping so much. But you know, there's a lot of spots where the play is to go Hyper Beam, just Hyper Beam and win. Okay, so here now we can make our way to Giovanni, still on minimum battles, still with no major issues in this run. Let's see how he goes. So obviously Giovanni's gonna outspeed us with the Doug Trio and with the Persian, unless we use some agilities and he can use Fissure and just get a one hit KO. He can also use things like Sand Attack. So let's see. So first turn here, I'm going to actually use agility couple times I want to get the speed and then hyper beam should just one shot the Doug trio hyper beam on Persian also a one hit KO I do not expect it to one shot here against the Nido Queen so remember that hyper beam is basically 10 wraps so once we get them in a range where we can pretty clearly see like you know there's one two three four five so I think Hyper Beam will just, yes, take it out from there. Now the question is, how do we do here? Ice Beam, and we just one hit KO on the ride on. So very nice. We get through Giovanni on the first attempt. No difficulties whatsoever. Minimum battles all the way up to this point. Stab on normal is just completely OP on this Pokemon when you consider like minimum battles, we're not like level grinding to get better ranges. We haven't used any rare candies. No, we're just crushing. Now let's take on our rival, rival six. So here in this one, I think we want to wrap here first. And uh, let's just kind of get him in a range. Maybe Ice Beam knocks him out from there. Yes. Here execute, I think we Ice Beam, nice. Now Cloyster, we have to go into the wrap strats. Let's see, so two hits have done, yeah, about, what, 22, so 11 damage per hit here. So, right, so 10 wraps is about, we should be able to hyper beam. Oh, we don't quite get the range there, so we lose, okay. We needed to do just a couple more hits there with that, okay. So here, I'm just going to wrap this one once. No badge boost, but there, Ice Beam finishes that one off. Cool. Ice Beam here does not quite one shot, but it is a two hit KO. Cool. Now we know that we need him a little less than like maybe 60 HP to get through this one with the Hyper Beam. So there we've got him down around half. Hyper Beam should finish that one off. It does. Magneton, let's just see. Not quite a one-hitter, okay. So here, we'll try to land a wrap. We're getting confused. Okay, but we get through right there. Reflect, but Hyper Beam just one-shots the Kadabra, yes. And we're no longer confused. Hyper Beam just misses the range on the Flareon. We'll just knock it out with an Ice Beam. Easy win. So, yet again, I mean, 
it's a little bit luck based there but not super duper luck based not like oh my god you know we we have to reset like 50 times no like just figuring out the range there is all that that really takes so now we can make our way up to victory road we will go to the power plant as well just to get some items but i think we've got this guys i think we've got this i think we're gonna beat the game on minimal battles that is now my prediction because we still haven't used any rare candies up to this point we have the agility strats we got to remember that this is pokemon yellow so dugong is not just going to use aurora beam it will mix things up so we should be able to like damage it once and then get it to use rest on turn two so even just hitting it with like an ice beam should be enough to just get it to rest on turn two and then at least a decent percentage of the time and then once we get it to rest we'll have the ability to set up our agilities so that we guarantee that we outspeed even the jinx and then from there i mean it's just a matter of okay you know what do we want to do right do we want a hyper beam do we want to wrap how many wraps do we need you know but this this lore life fight will be most likely, I'm just guessing, the most luck-based fight in the entire run. But keep in mind, it's less luck-based than if we were here with a normal Dragonite, since a single ice move would basically kill us. We might be able to still survive like one Aurora Beam or something like that. So let's find out. Okay, so there we go. We get past that trainer. We can get right over here. Let's just go downstairs. Here, I've saved the game just in case. And oops, uh, a strength right there. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man, this is too much fun. I just love minimal battles, guys. Like, I don't know how other people really feel about the minimal battles format. But for me, this is like the most fun way to play the game because when you're on minimal battles, especially when you're just sweeping up like this, it tells you just how strong this Pokemon really is. It's on zero DVs, it's on minimum battles, and yet it's somehow managing to just crush the entire game. Sorry about that, just checking some things on the back end really quickly, just making sure that I... I'm sitting here bragging about beating the game on zero DVs, and I always get nervous that I don't actually have zero DVs. <laughs> so I need to add something to the overlay that just shows the DVs. You know what I'm saying? Or like a mode. I've already done this with some other things, but something that gives me a mode, a button that I can press, that just shows the DVs of the different stats would be kind of cool you know it would it would clarify things too when people say what dvs are you using just press the button like a d button or something and be like zero dvs clearly you know so uh yeah let's go ahead and dig out from here now it's time to just put everything else in the pc we don't need them charmander squirtle spiro you've done your jobs guys Let's go ahead and buy as many full restores as we can because we just don't know. We may end up having to blackout grind here. I'm gonna try not to. We still haven't used any rare candies. We're coming in at level 42. Let's just see the stats real quick. So at level 42, we've got 137 HP, 127 attack, 94 defense, 81 speed, 98 in special. We've got the wrap, hyper beam, ice beam, and agility going on here. Let's see if this turns out to be enough. So here, round one against Lorelei. Oh God, <laughs> this is the scary one. This is the one that I'm nervous about. This is the one where you probably do need extra battles to make this one consistent, but we're gonna try it. So here we are, Lorelei attempt number one. I'm just gonna Ice Beam her turn one. She Aurora Beams, but I'm really hoping that she'll rest turn two. Yes, yes, let me set up. Yes, now you can get wrapped. 
but we get wrecked. We need all the wraps to hit. If we had X accuracy here, this would be just completely broken at this point, but we do not. So Ice Beam, Aurora Beam, Agility, Rest, nice, Rest. Yeah, keep resting. And we just miss the wrap. Oh man. So let's just see how much damage a Hyper Beam does here, just for the sake of, you know, whatever. So I'm still gonna Ice Beam. I'm still hoping that she rests here. Nope, she does not. It's a 40% chance that she will not use the smart move. And when she doesn't use it, it's an 80% chance on turn two that she uses rest. I've done the math, guys. I've studied this. Oh, no, she got an attack drop on us even. I think that's G to the G already. So this is Hyper Beam with an attack drop, but we got the critical hit there. So now the question is just how many wraps do we have to hit? Keeping in mind that our attacks have been dropped once before we were able to set up the badge boost. So here we are going to get through Cloyster. Hyper Beam, yes. Okay, so level 43 comes in now. We've lost any badge boost that we would have had anyway. So we're just trying to set up here and we get a Psychic after an Amnesia, okay. So I think we're in a logical spot to go for some rare candies. I'm still going to try this just one more time without the, hopefully without the attack drop. And there we just get critical hit. <laughs> critical hit one shot. Okay. So let's just try this again. No attack drop, please. No attack drop, please. Okay. Now rest. No, come on. Rest. It's really going to be like, a, what, maybe like a 32% chance that she uses rest turn two against us. There we get the attack drop, so we can't even keep that one. Oh, no. Rip. No. <sighs> I started a new game. Where is my game? There's my game. Yes. Okay, so here I think we might be in a position to start rare candying. You know, I mean, we're obviously underleveled at this point. So I'm going to go up to level 45 first. We will not learn Dragon Rage, no. Oops, I went to 46. But I think this is fine. Let's just try this battle here. So we're going to get the Lorelei intro again, just because I had to reset the entire overlay. You know, it happens. Oh, and she's glitching out. There we go. There is a way to stop her from glitching out, but I need to figure that out as well. Okay, but here we go. First things first, we're going to once again Ice Beam here. She goes rest immediately, so we get to agility here. And let's just go for the wrap strats now. Okay, she Aurora Beams there and she gets the attack drop, which is kind of bad, but with a couple of agility set up, she did less than half. So now Cloyster, let's just wrap it. Obviously, we would be in a better situation if we were using like Thunderbolt here, but I think this is fine. Hyper Beam doesn't get the range. Okay, it's because of the attack drop. If we didn't have the attack drop, we would have one shot there with the Hyper Beam at that point. So here, Ice Beam, she goes rest. Okay. Agility, agility, start wrapping. I think just a couple wraps here is enough and then hyper beam. So we avoid the attack drop this time. And now we just need to get this one down around half ish. So it hits an ice beam as we miss two wraps in a row. That is the problem with this strategy, obviously, is that we just don't have any good way to avoid getting hit repeatedly. There we get an attack drop. But I think this more comes down to the fact that we, we just have such high chances to miss at different points in the fight. Okay, agility, agility. Just cannot get the rest there. 
like I said, 40% chance that she just ignores type effectiveness with this dugong. There she goes, bubble beam. Okay, agility, agility, agility. This time we get three agilities set up. See if hyper beam just does it. It does, nice. We miss the first wrap and we get a critical hit ice beam on that cloister. I know this is possible. I know this is possible to get through at this current level even. Even here at level 42, this should be possible to get through eventually. Agility, agility. Back to the wraps now. Just gonna try to hyper beam her down. Very nice. Start wrapping here. This is kind of a suspect range. I'm just gonna do one more wrap and there we go. We take down the cloister, still on good health, going to the slow bro. Goes the amnesia there as we missed. I think we gotta get this one kind of in a half health range as well. Hyper beam will do the job there. Jinx, it's just hyper beam. That's an easy one hit KO. We're all the way to the final Lapras, which is also just super bulky. So we need to get the wrap of luck here. Here it's down around half health. Hyper beam? Yes, there we go. Even without the rare candies, we didn't save after we used the rare candies. We got through, we just need not to get an attack drop there and just to get the wraps to connect and do their job. So just like that, we are now on to Bruno. I'm just gonna reset to get rid of that optional battle on the overlay and there we go. So very nice, Bruno, he's gonna come in here. He's going to just be like, oh, you can't fight me with your rapping strats. Oh, we've got the stronger attack stat compared to your Machamp, buddy. Oh, let's go. So here we don't even really care about this Onyx. So we're just gonna spam agility. Like, sure, dig, buddy. Good job. Dig, dig, ice beam. <laughs> here on Hitmonchan, how about a hyper beam? Here on Hitmonlee, how about another Hyper Beam? Onyx comes out, we'll just Ice Beam it down. And let's see how we do against Machamp here. Hyper Beam, one hit KO. It was a crit, but we'll take it. We're not gonna learn Dragon Rage. We easily get through that fight, that's stupid. So here now is a spot where we have to get a little bit of luck, perhaps. We're up against Agatha. We can obviously go Hyper Beam strats on the Golbat and on the Arbok, but for the other Pokemon, we're going to have to knock them out with special moves. And this is where we might need some rare candies just to do enough damage. We might have to swap up which move we're using to do enough damage. Got Ice Beam on right now. Let's see if we can just get through with this setup. So there is Agatha. She is probably the scariest Elite Four member at this point, but I think we've got a chance. I think we've got reasonable chances here if not at this level with the rare candies let's find out so here we go agatha attempt number one i'm actually going to ice beam here just to see the damage we did third or 28 damage there so i think this one is like a five or six hit ko at this point so here let's see if we can set up the agilities agility one agility two agility three we're not affected by Lick. Now Ice Beam does a fair bit more damage. The problem is that she can do things like that where she uses like Substitute. Ice Beam does not quite get her into like a four hit KO range, but we do knock out the first Gengar. Okay, I'm just gonna Hyper Beam on the Golbat. That is an easy one hitter. Haunter comes out. And the problem here is just that we're not doing enough damage. So it's a three hitter there. Hyper Beam will take out the Arbok, but now we just don't have enough PP. We've only got one attack left, so we just have to reset right there. That just did not work just because it took too much, too many turns. So this is where I think the rare candies come in and make a lot of sense. I'm just gonna go hard on them. I'm gonna keep like two in the bag for the Lance and the champion fight. So we get all the way up to level 54 right there. Let's just see how we do now at this level. So here, Agatha, round number two. I'm going to Ice Beamer first. 
And now this looks more like a four hit KO range, especially after we get all the agility set up. I think we're going to be fine here. So I'm going to agility right there. It's just ice beam. Ice beam. Got a nice crit. She doesn't heal there. Now we can go against this haunter where it's maybe not quite a two hit KO range there. So here we might just need more PP. We knocked that one out though. Hyper beam here. Yes. Hyper beam here. Yes. Onto the Gengar where we've got three PP in ice beam, but we get a special drop. So anything short of a crit, we're just not getting through there. So we have to reset yet again. So one solution here would be to go for a move that has more PP with the same damage output. So something like Thunderbolt would make sense. Something like Surf would make a lot of sense. But the other possibility is to try to use the PP up here on our Ice Beam. With the logic being that by just giving it two more PP, we might be able to get through there. So here we know that we want to agility here no matter what. So let's use the agilities first against the Gengar. We'll hyper beam here on the Golbat when she swaps. Now Ice Beam. I mean, we might just be able to get like a three hit range here with the right luck. There she substitutes, which I don't really like. I kind of want her to swap now or to heal. Really, ideally, we want her to swap to another Pokemon. We don't really want her to have the, whatchamacallit setup, the substitute setup. Because that just takes too many turns. I don't know. Maybe we've got enough Ice Beams here. Maybe I should have just gone for it. Okay, but we knocked that one out. Cool. Your Ice Beam looks like it might be a two hit KO range there. Nice. Hyper Beam on the Arbok. Now we've got five Ice Beams left. As we come to the final Gengar, we get a special drop there. And so, yeah, we, we lost that one. I probably should have just gone all in trying to knock out that first Gengar. Okay, we learned. We're learning. Swear to God, we're learning. And see, Lick does nothing. So we actually like getting licked here. And we get to knock out that Gengar in three hits this time. Hyper Beam on the Golbat. Nice. Ice Beam on the Haunter. We don't get the two hit range. It's a three hitter there, but we've still got plenty of PP for the final Gengar. I hyper Beam on Arbok. And now we get the critical hit Psychic. But, oh, are we going to get the range? Oh, we get Confuse Raid and then Psychic. Oh, God, we had it so far down. If we just landed one more hit, we would have won if we didn't hit ourselves in Confusion and then get psychic Oh, that was terrible. Okay, so let's go back to our agility spam here. Okay, here she goes for the substitute. But from there, can we get the two hit range? Oh, it's so close. Here we'll hyper beam on the Golbat. She's just trolling with her first Gengar though. Okay, ice beam. Yes, we get the two hit range there with a crit. We can knock out Arbok, so we've still got five PP in Ice Beam. We get put to sleep by the Gengar and it Dream Eaters us though. And Psychic, we're not waking up. There we finally do wake up, but we hit ourselves in confusion and lose. Like, this is just such a luck based battle at this point. Like we should win a lot of times here and we just don't. Come on, Lick. Okay, she substitutes, so Ice Beam right there. It's not going to quite get us a two-hit range after the breaking the substitute. We already know. We froze the first Gengar, though. So here we can Hyper Beam on Golbat. This one should be an auto-win once we actually hit. A Hyper or Ice Beam here. Ice Beam. It's going to be a three-hitter there on the Haunter. Come on, Hyper Beam. Oh, here, she changes to Gengar, and we freeze the Gengar. Yes, yes. Oh, let's just destroy her. She's using Super Potions, but we get through, and then we just need the Hyper Beam to hit here on the Arbok. There we go.
took a few resets, but we do manage to get through Agatha. So again, we'll just reset to get rid of that extra optional battle there. It's on the Lance. We've got the Ice Beam. This should just work. Let's see. So Lance attempt number one. I'm going to set up the agilities on the Kyrados because we just got to make sure that we outspeed that Aerodactyl and we can one-shot it, hopefully. And then Ice Beam should just wreck everything else. But let's see. So first things first. Oh, I didn't even heal. Oh, I didn't even heal. No. Already rip. End of run. Your elixir right there. Let us go with the full restore right there. Yes, save the game. And now let's take on Lancey Boy properly. So here for Lance, attempt number one. I'm going to go agility. He goes dragon rage. He's just going to want to dragon rage us with his Gyarados. So here now, I think we can wrap this one. And now maybe Hyper Beam does it. Yes, it does. So there we leveled up, but Ice Beam just misses the one hit KO range on the Dragonair. Okay. And we get an Ice Beam that knocks us out from Dragonair number two. Okay. But I think we understand what's going on here. Basically, it might be better to simply wrap here, though, on the first Gyarados. Just get it in a range. And now let's Hyper Beam. And now we should set up the agilities here on this Dragonair because it's going to use Slam or Hyper Beam. And yes, like that Hyper Beam critical hit there, but I think we're going to be fine. We just Hyper Beam it back. Here, let's Hyper Beam that one. We're going to be faster than Aerodactyl, so let's Ice Beam. Nice. And on the Dragonite, Ice Beam, easy win. Yes, once we know the strategy, we just get through very, very easily there. And now we're going into the champion. I'm going to max elixir. I'm going to full restore. We've got two rare candies in the bag, but let's just go in at our current level. Once again, we'll reset. We'll get that optional battle off there. It's just counting because we fought Lance multiple times. But here, let's try the champion. So this guy, scary, <laughs> legit scary, but I think we've got the strategy. I think we can get through. It's going to be all about the cloister that's second to last on the team. If we can just get through that, I think we just Hyper Beam and just destroy the Flareon. Let's find out. Because that's got to be the strategy, right? Just Hyper Beam Flareon. Okay, so here we go. First things first, I'm going to Ice Beam right here. Because if we can ever get the Freeze, then we can just get the Freeze set up there. But now on Alakazam Hyper Beam, we'll just one shot. Here... I think this is a spot where, once again, Ice Beam, Ice Beam, and Ice Beam. And now we don't really have to worry about much from Magneton, because it's just going to use like Swift and Screech against us. And Screech would just be a badge boosting move anyway. So Hyper Beam takes that one down. This is all about the Cloister. You know, what range can we get on it? I give it another Hyper Beam just to be safe. Or another wrap just to be safe. Hyper Beam. And now Hyper Beam on the Flareon. Oh, look at that. Level 57. Minimum battles. Are you kidding me? Oh, Dragon Normal Dragonite is just way too OP. When you consider that we spend most of that run using wrap, <laughs> which is obviously not a fast strategy. So the time 139.48. It is what it is. This is not optimized by any means, but it's just hilarious how powerful we become when we have Stab Wrap and we have Stab Hyper Beam. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> this Pokemon would be a Gen 1 competitive beast if it were in Gen 1 competitive because there are no super effective dragon moves to use against it and nothing is running fighting moves in Gen 1 OU. So you basically just don't have any real meaningful type weaknesses. You learn one move to take out the rocks, right? So something like a, a surf or something like that. Agility, wrap, hyper beam, broken, banned, immediately banned by, you know, Smogan. They just, no way. Smogan does not allow this Pokemon, I'm sure. Oh man, that was stupid.
that was stupid stupid oh man that that's just oh my god <laughs> let's register this one in the hall of fame oh level 57 it says dragon flying we know it's a normal dragon pokemon don't worry about the game time all that that's just me playing on five times speed and you know not even taking this seriously oh my god <laughs> oh dragon normal it's too op guys but now we have to answer the greatest question we know what it is we gotta go and beat up mewtwo with this one i think we have the strat we're gonna prove that this pokemon would not only be op it would be ubers it would be the best of the best it would be completely banned from normal normal play gen 1 ou not not acceptable for this pokemon it might not even be acceptable for ubers just banned just banned added to the banned list oh man <laughs> Oh, I'm just imagining this Pokemon in in some sort of competitive setting. Oh, it just seems too OP. Too OP, guys. Like, suddenly things would have to run like, you know, uh, some sort of, like, fighting move set or something just to threaten this Pokemon at all. And even then, it's just like, I agility, I rap, and I kill you. <laughs> Oh man, I love broken things. I love broken things so much, guys. So here we go. Let's just make our way to Mewtwo, the absolute legend. While I make my way here, let me just drop some love for people. Um, I'm going to pull up the channel members list, of course, because I just want to say thank you to all you guys. I'm going to post this up for you guys first because you guys just deserve to enjoy the absolute carnage that was Dragon Normal Dragonite. Norm, <laughs> he's, he's just Norm Norman, but he's he's clearly not normal. So here, let's save the game. Let me pull up my list real quick just to give some love to people. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just finish this one out. I may come back and do an optimizing run of this or something, but I don't think it needs it. I think it's just already completely OP. So here, let's, uh, let's put this in order. Nice. So I'm going to uh, put this guy right here. And then let's bring up OBS. Let's just see. Oh, yes, there we are. So... Let's give some love to the channel members, of course. Coming in right at the top, Sane Winter, 17 months, like a year and a half almost. Legend. Andrew Palmer, been with me since the very beginning. One of the first people to ever comment on a video. Legend. Now, Pokemon WWW411, MK2, Mark II. This guy, absolute legend. Another 17 monther. He drops tons and tons of knowledge and facts about Pokemon. You're awesome, dude. Thank you for dropping them. I appreciate it. I learned lots of stuff from the things that you share. We've got Roy Merkel, 15 months. Also been here a long time. Then we got to move down. Pyro, Priestess E, Roclaw, Mistral, Psycho, Antonis and, or Anderson, Antonis Delu. We've got uh, Austin Jackson, Constantinos Sintanakas, Gabriel Jackie T, the Cat Herd Ambersand, Falcian Balche. Super Saiyajin Derp, Eliwick Boltron, Cody McKinley, TTC345, Super Saiyajin Jared Rose, Cody Smith, 73. We've got Painted Eyes, Kyle Baker. Kyle Baker, oh my gosh. <laughs> All of these folks have joined in the past several months. This is just incredible. John Calabro, I know, is doing his own stuff. John plays. Go check him out. Um, who else we got? We got uh, Omnifarious joined on the live stream. Thank you so much, Omnifarious. Mike the Potato joined on the live stream last time we did it. Thank you so much, Chris Nguyen. We've got Dan in, and we've got the newest one. It is uh, Tamanoa. Tamanoa? 
tell me how to pronounce it but tamanoo thank you so much for being here the newest member literally joined today you guys are all incredible i just gotta say of course we've got mistral psycho supporting on patreon and at the pokemon center tier jared rose is like the highest supporter he's here in the highest tier of the channel membership and in a very high tier on patreon i just can't thank you enough and uh super saiyajin derp or super saiyajin derp come on uh as we kind of mourn the death of uh, akira toriyama my super saiyajins i just gotta say thank you for supporting in that double team tier it means so much to me i've got lots of goals for this year guys i'm ramping up production right now because the baby's coming in june so just you know kind of a little life update i guess baby's coming in june i'm trying to get videos done all the way through july so basically a lot of stuff is going to be pre-recorded pre-posted all the way up through july that includes stuff for you as channel members so just keep an eye out for that i'm going to be grinding guys so uh just just stick with me if there's little delays after the baby comes just understand with that being said let's finish this one out strong strong guys we are going to do the final mewtwo battle so here we go mewtwo oops that's not what i wanted again i keep opening my video editor by mistake no no davinci resolve go away go away close the window Okay, well, this is fine. This this is all fine. Everything's fine. Let's just fight this Mewtwo. Let's get this done. So, Mewtwo. I am going to use agility. Now I'm going to rap. Because we outspeed the Mewtwo. Okay, it goes psychic. That hurt. But it doesn't, like, one-shot us or anything. We're just going to wrap him down into range. Hyper Beam. First attempt of victory. Even Mewtwo cannot stand up to this Pokemon, people. Are you kidding me? I mean, probably a, a stat or a, uh, probably a blizzard would one shot us from Mewtwo. Probably got a high enough special stat, but we don't care. We've made it here. Let's check the final tale of the tape. Level 57. Look at that attack stat, 172. And then consider that you're multiplying times 1.5 when you use the hyper beam. Are you kidding me? 128 defense, 111 speed, 133 special. We did it on minimum battles, level 57, still two rare candies in the bag. That's incredible. That is just incredible. Anyway, I had too much fun with this. That is one of my favorite runs ever. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one later.